first ever video on YouTube. <laughs> um. Disclaimer that this video is gonna be like not the best quality, and that I only have one phone, so I have to record me inside my phone. I have to do record everything I was doing, like all the editing, so I won't be able to show my face as I do it. So it'll be a voiceover. What I edit is my style, so I'm not trying to tell whoever I'm about to edit their photos that they're. Like the way I do it, it's gonna be better than theirs. Like everybody's on everybody on Instagram does their own way of putting photos out there and their own style. So it doesn't really matter. It's just my input, like how I see, I see, like how I would have edited that photo. So that's basically all I'm gonna do today. And I hope you enjoy. Well, all the names of the people who were mentioned in this video will be down below, and as well as the apps. So what I did here was I started with Airbrush and I'm going to be doing this for a couple of the apps, I mean photos, and then I just blurred the background and since this feature costs money, I just screenshot it and move it onto the next app which was Lightroom and from Lightroom I just want to make her dress pop out more and as you can see it, it was, it's now purple and her hair is a little bit more blue and then I went to VS Code and I got the filter HB2. Then for Zyra, I wanted it to be less shady, so I made it brighter and I also made her overalls more blue. And for her, oh, and I also added airbrush blurring and for her filter, I used C1. For Jasmine, I wanted it to look, well, first I didn't blur the background but I did make the trees in the back pop out more and her hair popped popped out more and for her filter I used E2 for this picture I wanted it to look more I guess like a movie so the blurred background was a good choice and then I wanted to make it warmer because it was really dark so I used Airbrush, Lightroom, and VS Go, and her filter for VS Go was C3. And it was kind of hard making her skin look less orangey, but I guess it went with the flow of the whole picture in the back. For this picture, I used all the apps, so Airbrush, Lightroom, and VS Go. And her VS Go filter was HP1. And I went a little bit over the top with the blurring only because with the colors, it would look, it was gonna look like a summer picture. And I also increased the temperature a little so the glow in her skin can increase. And then at the end, I used airbrush to make her face clear. For this picture, I wanted the main focus to be in the front, so I did focus on the sky just a little to make the picture have more color, but the picture is going to end up kind of fady, and her VS Go filter is E5. I didn't put the background because I wanted the sky to um, like complement the front, and her skin tone was hard to make right, but I used just the last two apps that I used. For this picture, I did use airbrush and I blurred the background and I used VS Go filter F1 and for Lightroom, I used, I made it look more warmer and also for all the pictures, I did use VS Go to edit some stuff like the skin tone, exposure, highlights and saturation.
saturation. But yeah, this picture it has a more grunge feel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know, like, it's probably not the best video out there, and I'll probably get 20 views. But I don't care as long as I get 20 views. If that's my 20 views. <laughs> Um, but shout out to my six subscribers at the moment, you know, what day is it? I don't know, July 6th. So, you know, July 6th, I have six subscribers. And maybe 10 months from now, I'll have eight subscribers. So, I hope I get there soon, the eight subscribers, here we go! I'm just kidding, I'm very cringy, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know which editing you guys like the best. And if you guys have any more video ideas, let me know down below, because I would like to make content that you guys would enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, if you want. It's down below, in the link. I mean, the link. In the bio, wait, that's what they call it. In the description, yes. Um, yeah, we'll see how this YouTube journey goes, and thanks for watching.